Hi everyone, today we will be talking about cancer cervix screening and the new guidelines. Cancer cervix, as you all know, is procured from a sexually transmitted viral infection and the virus is human papillomavirus or HPV. There are two high risk stains and 70% of cancer cervix is caused by these two high risk strains only and those are 16 and 18 multiple other strains can cause cancer cervix but majoritarily 70% is caused by these two. Now what is the call for action for eliminating this highly highly 100% preventable cancer cervix? It says and it calls for 90-70-90 strategy. First 90 stands for vaccinating all eligible girls with cancer cervix vaccine. Second 70 strategy, strategy stands for screening all the women folds at least twice in their entire lifetime. The cytology based screening should start from 25 years and HPV based screening should start from 30 years. The last 90% stands for it stands for treating adequately and efficiently all the patients who have turned out to be screen positive and give them good palliative care if they are in the advanced stage of their disease. One important change with this strategy is WHO has recommended HPV based screening as the primary method of the screening. Now there are two things associated with HPV based screening. Some may feel that it is costly but down the lane when we do multiple uh, cytology based screening and other screening methods it is highly cost effective it eliminates chances of subjective interpretation of cytology results also so it is a good test second thing is hpv based dna testing our uh, the problem is with availability so now it is being available in uh, multiple countries and the uh, HPV DNA test kits are easily procurable. So, if you can afford, can go for HPV based testing. Otherwise, Pap smear has a strict test of the times and has good sensitivity and specificity for detecting cancer. By the way, uh, before I end, I should tell you that in 2020, around 6 lakh people were detected with cancer cervix and half of them died in the same year. It means, it means they were not screened, half of the people were presenting to us in the advanced stage of the disease. So think of it, go for a screening, educate your patient, be aware yourself also about screening methods and before we prescribe it to someone else, go for your screening also.